All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube. If you're watching this video later on over there, for our next deck, which is going to be Demir Midrange. So basically what I've done here is, uh, you may have remembered us playing like Demir Quasi Sacrifice uh, with like the uh, Demir Quasi Duplicate, or the Quasi Duplicates and uh, Play Crafters and Eldest Reborns and things like that. Um, and I'm kind of taking that list and kind of switching it up a little bit. Um, haven't been as happy with the Eldest Reborns and... and uh, um, play crafters here recently or the quasi duplicates so basically kind of trimming those cards for thief of sandies and thought erasures in the deck um because those are both just really you know quite strong cards um uh the the problem that i was having with the deck mostly was the the decks that just didn't have very many creatures because you know we have our chupacabras and hostage takers where we're pretty good against the creature decks but the decks like Simic Nexus, for example, um, that we didn't, that we weren't able to like use the extra removal, I was really struggling with, and so that's why moving those to the main, and that's why you can kind of see I have three on un unmoored ego in the sideboard <laughs> for the for the Nexus decks, because um, to be fair, I I've played like around uh, like six or seven matches with this deck. Um, in like the the ranked cues to kind of practice a little bit uh to to try tune it and stuff and like four or five of those are like basically all but one or maybe two were against nexus and uh reclamation and so that's maybe why maybe i'm a little bit more too much tuned towards that but we'll kind of uh see how it goes there the three ritual of sits are like needed against like mono white mono white um and even like mono red, like those kind of decks, those aggro decks are going to be kind of tough because we have such a slow clock. So we need like the sweepers in those matchups. Um, so that's why we have the ritual of sets over there. Um, Dusk Legion Zella and Seeker Squire look a little weird, especially without quasi duplicate. But I've still been happy with them. They just they just fill the curve, and even though they're not like the most powerful cards, they just kind of they're really nice glue pieces where against ag. Um, against aggro, they can kind of be some speed bumps, especially when Squire's like a 2-3. Um, but maybe they use, like, maybe Mono Red uses some burn spells on them that that help out. Um, against Control, they're just like little annoying things that peck away at them um, while you have your other things going on. They're just, they're just kind of like some, some role players, and I've been uh, pretty happy with them. Um... But yeah, we're a 25 land deck. Uh, we want to hit our land drops, and that's what Zealot and Squire help you do. Because uh, not only are we trying to get to Immortal Sun against a lot of the slower decks, but Hostage Taker is like a card where you want a lot of lands. Thief of Sanity doesn't mind you having a lot of lands. So yeah, we're a 25 land deck. Um, and yeah, we're a slow mid-range deck. Um, and there we go. You're welcome, Kelton. At least I assume that's what he meant. So let's let's give it a try. Demir mid range. <clears throat> okay, we'll see how this goes. Zip Nick six six seven with the Twitch Prime sub. Some hype for our new subscriber. Welcome to the channel, is it Nick? And this is what I'm talking about. We're a little bit of a slower deck, but that's okay. Ooh, do not really love seeing mono red. Just all mono red today. <clears throat> we need to get some angels decks out here. We need to get like our our anti mono red decks. Ugh. So we'll have the steam can or sorry, so we'll have the um the chupacabra be able to handle the steam can. So 
Midnight Reaper is a, a better blocker or Thief of Sandy. Either, either of these cards are better blockers than Zealot, but I'd have to Shock to play, you know, like Thief or Midnight Reaper, and then Shock again for Chupacabra, and we just can't really afford all that life loss. So we're just playing in the Zealot here that's going to be able to um, chump block for a turn, and I, I am chump blocking. I'm just going to block this Steamkin. And then I'm going to play Chupacabra next turn. But hey, trades with the Shock. Um, Reaper or Thief of Sandy would trade with Shock as well. The good news is, like, our opponent's kind of out of cards. That's our, that's our good news. Doom Whisperer is, is clutch in this matchup. You know, just being a 6-6. Six, 6-6 six. Six, six is big. So, Chupacabra was amazing. Trading with Phoenix and... Or, sorry, uh, Steamkin and uh, Pyromancer. Go end the game quickly, Doom Whisper. I'm not too scared of like having a bunch of Midnight Reaper triggers or anything. It's just not something I'm too particularly worried about. They have one spell right now to turn on Lava Runner. You know, they attack with both. We go to six. Which isn't the worst of life totals. Have him dead in a couple of turns. Um... Perfect. That's a good card. I like seeing that one where we can, uh, you know, be able to have lethal next turn of like kill the pyromancer if they don't draw anything here. Oh, thanks for tracked. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's what I'm good at. That at having the schedule, you can always kind of tune in and see what's what decks are going on and everything. All right, well, that means that that was a that was just a great draw step for them. It really was. Um, they got to put us down into one burn spell territory and have a blocker. Like just a a really great draw step for them. Is there anything else I can do? Maybe not. Yeah, one to three. Or, well, one to two now. So, like, I, I couldn't... I could not attack, but the the problem with, like, not attacking is... Um, they can still... Uh, you know, so if I if I don't attack, I can stay at three and not have, like, a two damage thing kill me. You, can, you know, you can think of it like that. But they could still just attack with their Viashino Pyromancer, and I have to block... Um, and I still take that one anyway. So, kind of unfortunately playing that Midnight Reaper did hurt um, a little bit. Alright, let's get these Dresses Negates, Reapers out, Zealots out. And I'm a little too slow. Immortal Sun's out. 
couple zealots. Yeah, and then we get these soots in. Yeah, that could work. That's too much discard, honestly. We don't need four duresses and four thought erasures. That's just too much discard. Those cards are just going to be dead pretty soon. Yeah, I have a lot of cards that are not too particularly good. I think I'll take out a thought erasure because it costs two, I suppose. Nope, no craven, nothing like that. So I'll, I'll still throw down the Thief on turn 3, um, let it get shocked or whatever, then go Ritual and sit on turn 4. Maybe not, though. They're sitting on one land. Maybe I really wait on Thief of Sanity. Yeah, incentivize my opponent to play another creature. Yeah, let's incentivize them to play another creature. Another creature that will do. The Lua King getting that Twitch Prime sub in. Thanks for continuing to sub here. Five month streak for Kalua King. I really do appreciate that. How many Steamkins is too many Steamkins? The kind of problem here is we don't have, like, Chain Whirler is pretty good against us right about now. Uh. I really don't like the Lava Coil there, um, because I want my creature to die because of Memorial to Folly. Yeah, so I really, so the Exile is pretty, pretty important for the opponent. Lava Runner. Wants well, a lot of creatures, and that's that's good for us. You know, like we're good against creatures for the most part. Um, I could cast down it and then put it back in my hand, so I, I can basically just trade my cast down for a Thief of Sanity, which I guess is a a good trade. I guess. Y'all are saying not worth it? Yeah, maybe it wasn't worth it. Because something else was going to die from Memorial to Folly anyway. I guess that's true. It is Cast Down and the Folly. It's both of them. I want to save Hasha's Taker for something a little better than the 2-2. Two -two. Um. Yeah, 
You know, they have Phoenix, Chain Whirler, that kind of stuff. More Steamkins. Yeah, the cast down is probably not a good play. No, I, I can say that was not a good play. Um, that's four, four Steamkins. The problem is Steamkins is just not a very good card to, to hostage take. But we do want to. I guess we do want to hostage take it right now, like while they're tapped out at least. Um, I mean, I could just like take my Chupacabra and Chupacabra their Steamkin, but that doesn't even make any sense. So, like, might as well just take their Steamkin. It's just a one-one at this point. If I take the Lava Runner and attack in, the Steamkin can kind of block stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot that our Steamkin was going to grow to be a 2-2. Two -two. I forgot about that. Yeah, we the red deck now. <laughs> Forgot about that synergy. We're growing our own Steamkins. And they have drawn a lot of creatures. That's They've had three Lava Runners, four Steamkins, and a Pyromancer. Please don't have a Phoenix. All right, let's go, little one one. Little one one, who could? It is a steam can. Not a steam can't. All right, we'll take the two threes. Two threes are big game around here. I think we need to look look a little deeper for um, like Doom Whisper, things like that. Just likely that with our opponent having Frenzy, they're going to have a lot more than one card a turn. So like having something like Negate, and as we can tell, I'm glad we didn't even keep the Negate. Negate won't even do anything right about now. I'm not going to Ritual of Soot here. Um, I'm going to let them ha give them another turn to find another creature. Man, this Experimental Frenzy is a really good card. I don't know if y'all knew that. <laughs> they had another Phoenix on top anyway. <laughs> oh, Hostage Shaker? No. So that, as you saw with that game, we were having to hostage taker the. Uh, I mean, I did make the wrong play with the cast down. I mean, that was the wrong play. Um, yeah, that that was just that may have cost us that that you know we didn't have the uh, ability to get a hostage taker back. Um, but as you as you can see there, hostage taker on Steamkin is not so good against us or for us because we're just getting one ones and like those one ones don't really win. You know, we, re we really want to hostage taker basically anything else. Um, but the problem is, is you have to kill Steamkin. So it's like we have to remove Steamkin, but we want to be 
getting other things. Um, keep that. You know, it's having like 10, to, 10 or 12 lands or whichever one of those we had, you know, didn't help either, but. Or whatever, how many lands we had, but. Um, yeah, I did make a mistake with the cast down, trading the cast down and folly there. That was a mistake. Anyway, new match. Looks like we got a blue black mirror. Oh, yeah, our. We are not that good against Mono Red. You know, I'm not playing, especially how I'm not playing Moment of Cravings or any anything like that. Hmm. Double Hostage Taker. Wait. Keep. So I could play Thief to block their Thief, but I thought it was pretty unreliable that they would have removal. And as we saw there, they had Bedevil, Bedevil, hostage, you know, Double Hostage Taker. Um, so I wanted to just go with Thought Erasure first and kind of wait on this Thief of Sanity. You would have the Chupacabra. I also just wanted to make sure that the Chupacabra resolves for the Thief. Thought that was pretty, pretty important. We need our own hostage takers. Phoenix is just such a great card. That card's still underplayed. Even with how much play it's seeing, it's still underplayed. Phoenix is such a great card. It's a good squire, getting him a land. Okay. I don't mind I don't mind that too much. Um Cast down's like half an answer to Phoenix. Which I, I may need to keep, honestly. Yeah, I probably need to keep half an answer to Phoenix. Unfortunately. You have three of the Phoenix. What's the best shell for it? Um, I don't know. It's just kind of good everywhere. Like any any deck that it's in, it's good. I don't know what the exact best shell is for it. Um, playing it with like Rix's stuff, like our opponent's doing, is pretty nice. Oh, that thing kills an artifact. I just realized that thing kills my artifact. That's really annoying. I just realized the Bedevil kills Immortal Sun. There's nothing I could really do about it, but I mean, maybe I just didn't, shouldn't have kept the cast down. Um, I can't get Thief back and play Thief. I just have to play my Immortal Sun. Don't really have an option there.
right, we need another card that answers Phoenix. We need our opponents to draw a little bit of land here. <laughs> you just just on more e ego some phoenixes right as I was talking about him. Dion, what would you prefer me have done there? You're just saying bad play. Like, what is that? Can you be a little, a little more specific. No, Chupacabra is exiled. Um, I can't get Chupacabra with Folly. Uh-oh. That thing's a problem. That's a problem. The Thief just doesn't do anything. All right, let's manipulation. Manipulation could be awesome against Phoenix. Just taking Phoenix, that could be pretty awesome. Um, hmm. They are strangely really good against Immortal Sun with Hostage Taker being able to take artifacts and with Bedevil being able to take artifacts. Usually I'd want Duress and Negate against um, Grixis, but as we saw there, you know, like they're just like the most important cards are like Thief, Rekindling Phoenix, um, Hostage Taker, and Siege Gang Commander. A lot of like the important cards of this matchup are just gonna be the creatures. And I think overloading on Duresses and Negates um, would move away from that. With that being fair, but with that being said, um, the Zealots and the Squires are not necessary in this kind of matchup because they just get outclassed by everything, um, and you don't you don't need the pressure with them. Like this, like this is not a matchup for either Zealot or Squire. Um, so with that being said, I guess I'm going to be playing Duresses and Negates because that's what I have. Um, I'm going to play the extra cast down though because of Thief and Hostage Taker. Ego is not good in mid-range matchups like this. It's just card disadvantage. You can ego. There's like you know five things that we could ego, and they could just kill us with the other four. Um, it just doesn't doesn't matter too much. So the the thing about taking out the two drops is it. The two drops are, um, like, one of the best roles that our two drops have are uh, how they help us hit the land drops. That's what Zealots and um, Squires do. So being on the play without them, hitting land drops is something to be a little worried about. Um, but we are a 25 land deck, so we still have a, a good amount of lands. And we saw the last, the last two games we've been hitting a whole lot of land drops. So hopefully... It doesn't go the other way where we can't find lands without the two drops now. But it's 
looking like that for now. Doing good today, Zerf. Even though we're struggling a little bit here. Um, but, you know, playing Magic on a weekend. Never doing anything that's... You know, it's hard to do stuff that's worse than that. Alright, so we are a turn late on our stuff. Um, we do have another cast down if they have Hostage Taker. That's a, that's a good card. That's quite a good card. Don't know what I'm going to do with this Daredevil yet. But we'll find something in a while. And if they want to kill my hostage taker and get their Daredevil back, it doesn't really... doesn't really do a whole lot for them. Okay, yeah, you thought the Captain Marvel movie was great? I've heard really, really good things about it. Um, a lot of people have said that, like, they've been... Uh, quite happy with it um I can't I just cannot take her the thief I can't risk uh, the taker dying I don't know I guess I could risk the taker dying cool yeah that's that's a move I want to go see I'll have to um I'll just kind of figure out when would be a good time for me to go see it. You know, with streaming here 3 to 10. 3 to 10 every day. And the movie theater is probably a half hour away. Um, it's kind of hard to, to find a, a time to fit in. Movie theaters don't do movies that early in the day, right? Maybe they do movies late at night? I don't know if I want to go to a movie that late at night, though. Let's do, like, 11-ish. These are movies at 10 in the morning in Quebec? See, that's what I'm talking about. These Daredevils have been really nice for the opponent. Daredevils are just great against blue-black decks in general. Okay, I'll have to... Oh, gross. Huh. I mean, I guess I just have to take this turn off and get Hostage Taker. Then we're taking six. I mean, it's just my best play. Could chomp with the choop. spot I 
I'm basically chumming with the troop because we've seen, um... Man, I really want to draw a land where I can have negate available. Really want to draw a land here. Be able to have negate. Midnight Reaper is just not something we need. Yeah, it would be nice to have this negate. Yeah, those daredevils were, were really nice for the opponent. Um, and really, it's just Phoenix. I mean, both of those games, it was just Phoenix just destroyed us. So, certainly have a, a hole against Rekindling Phoenix. Um, that card's just amazing. So I guess that that really was the card that that just killed me both games. Um, even against Mono Red, it killed us that that other game. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, Zelda and Squire weren't very impressive um, for us in those matchups. Um, Thief of Sanity did just actual nothing. It was just not a good card. It was just. Dying all over the place and being something that was very easy to, to kill. Um, and never, like, never helping us at all. Chupacabra and Hostage Taker were our, like, only good cards, basically. Um, so. Yep, a little bit of an O2, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of hard for us to beat Rekindling Phoenix uh, with what we got going on here. Yeah, you can find the playlist um, here on Spotify right there. All right, so if you're watching this uh, later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.